Hello, I'm Eskimo, and I'm here to talk about CorelDRAW. This video is to show the array capabilities of my duplicator macro. Now, on this page of the macro form, uh, it says step and repeat. And the things that are here work very much the same way that CorelDRAW's own native step and repeat does. So it can be horizontal translation only, vertical translation only, or horizontal and vertical. But in any one of these cases, it's going to make either a row, if it's horizontal, or a column, if it's vertical, or if it's a horizontal and vertical, it will have both horizontal and vertical translation in each step, and will make some diagonal uh, arrangement of the content that's being duplicated. But what it doesn't do is create a a uh, two-dimensional array of the shapes, so it doesn't create both rows and columns in the same action, the, the same way that Corel draws own step and repeat doesn't do that. However, on this other page, array, we do have that capability. And I have options here for horizontal only, which means just a row, vertical only, which would be just a column, or both horizontal and vertical, where it can create both rows and columns in the same action. When it comes to how things are positioned, we have options to either do it by offset, so a specified distance, or by the space between the uh, objects. That applies both to horizontal and to vertical. Uh, for horizontal, you can choose whether it goes to the left or to the right. Uh, for vertical, whether it goes down or goes up. So in this case, I have it set to space between, a distance of zero for the space, a total number of two, so it'll be a row of two objects, and I have similar settings for vertical, a zero distance, space between, and two objects. So if I select these four rectangles, and it is four independent rectangles, if I select those four and say apply, that makes this two by two array with zero space between horizontally, zero space between vertically, and if I undid that and change this to 10 and 10, we would see that we get our 400 objects. So it's 10 by 10, uh, 100 copies of four objects each. So that's our 400 objects in sort of a checkerboard pattern. Now, if I go to this other page and look at this pair of hexagons, uh, this is a this could be used as a repeating unit to get a seamless coverage in little honeycomb pattern, but it wouldn't work correctly for us to use the space between to do that. And let me go back to two and two to show that. Select these and apply. Now that's worked correctly, but the space between is going to be using this as the left edge and this as the right edge. And that is showing a space between of zero there. And for top and bottom, this is going to be the bottom reference, and this is going to be the top reference. So again, it's a distance of zero, but it doesn't provide the seamless coverage you might want. So the way we would get around that is to use the offset flavor of positioning and, and offset here as well. And we need to figure out the distance we'd need to use to offset to make a seamless pattern. Now, in this case, you know, what starts off here in a duplicate would need to end up over here. And what is starting off here would need to end up here in order to make that seamless pattern. So I could use uh, dimensions and try to pull the numbers off that way, but I'm going to show a shortcut way of getting the numbers to do that by using my guides distance macro. Now guides distance is a macro that will show you the distance between two parallel guidelines that are selected at the same time. So that shows the distance between those guidelines. So I'm going to use this guideline and snap it here, this one and snap it here, select them both, and that shows the the distance. That's what I want to use for an offset over here. Now instead of typing all that stuff in, I have the option here to copy to clipboard. I can paste that number in there, and that gives me the right horizontal offset 
to do what I want. So similarly, I could take this one, and this one, snap them, get the distance from here, copy to the clipboard, paste it in here, and let's see if that works correctly. Again, we're set for two by two for our array. And yeah, you do get the seamless uh, matching up of parts the way you'd like there. If I wanted to, to take it further, I could make it say, 20 horizontally and 10 vertically, apply. And that's an easy way to make a, a, a seamless layout of duplicates uh, as long as you can come up with uh, a, 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 essentially a, a, the most basic unit that when laid out in a two-dimensional array, so rows and columns, will create the result you want.